you can make an early diagnosis, you can treat the patients better, because over time the disease acquires all kinds of nasty characteristics. So if you treat the patient early, the disease is still innocent, there is often no damage to the joint yet, and the immune system is not so dysregulated. Which means that if you just suppress inflammation, then the outcome of the patient will be much better. How do you measure the this activity of the disease? How we normally do it by three things. First, we again a physical examination, so the number of tender joints and swollen joints. Second, we speak to the patient. What the patient feels about the disease is also an important thing. And third, we measure it in the, the laboratory. And you could measure the amount of inflammation in the body by a simple uh, laboratory test. So we take those three items, the physical examination, history take of the patient, and what you can measure in the, the laboratory in one formula, and the, the, the formula is called disease activity score. What we, uh, during the last two or three years, when we start to uh, do disease activity measure as a sort of routine treatment, and when the goal was so clear that we want to have as low disease activity as possible, we also realized that there are quite a large proportion of patients that have a very low disease activity. Mm -hmm. And what we are doing now is trying to stop treatment.